Steve, it's been a, a tough 80 minutes, physical, very muddy, very wet, very dirty, but uh, job done, the boys have got four points at the end of it. Yeah, no, it's, it's great, and considering the conditions, they were horrific, and like how the game's gone on is, is remarkable. Um, we weren't exactly running rugby, but I think the boys um, ground the game down, and I thought, even though it was only 10 nil, I thought we were in pretty much control. When you got here this afternoon, how about three quarter to four? What were your first thoughts when you saw the pitch? Yeah, it's unplayable. Um, I think the standing water, there was a reasonable amount on it, and then they were opening up drains, and there was a lot of potholes, and yeah, it was just definitely really concerned about the play safety. But the referee made the call, the game went ahead, and you've got to give credit to the boys, the mindset, they uh, got the job done. Yeah, in fairness, the boys are fantastic. Once the, once the game, we, we had the thumbs up, the game's going on, these boys focused in, and I think it shows that the appetite for work, appetite in defence wasn't pretty at times, but ultimately the chase, I think, probably give a couple of uh, penalties too many in the first half, which we were a little bit disappointed with. Um, but that was the only ends that we felt we were going to give the Dragons. But I think in the second half, even against a, a sort of quite a strong breeze, I thought we were in relative control. Pretty dominant, but did you get frustrated at any point? Did you think that we weren't going to get the rewards we wanted? Yeah, probably not. Um, I think we were just making it sticky for ourselves. Um, I think we had a chance to probably put the game to bed um, in, in particular the second half with a couple of lineouts near the line. Um, but it, it is really difficult in the conditions. There's a breeze, it, the ball is just. They were really hard conditions, and that's not trying to be, uh, make excuses. There are definitely things we need we need to tidy up. I think, like I say, the line out. I think we had opportunities where I think we would have got the score if we got a set up. But ultimately, it's it's two games down in this period, and now we've got to really focus. And it's another short turnaround. There's more pressure on us physically, um, and making sure we get ready to go for the for Connacht. And we came and we stopped the opposition scoring, nil points, and that makes it now 296 minutes without conceding a try. So that side of the team is doing its job at the moment. Yeah, it's doing its job. It's, it's getting confident in, in our systems. I think Connacht will, will stress us on the, on the weekend. I think they'll, they'll really come to play and the Liberty track will lend itself to that. And I think it'll be a real good test for us and making sure that we're nice and smart and keep our discipline and keep our shape. And I think we, we look like a confident team in D and I think we, we're, like we say, we're in control for large parts, but we can't, we can't afford to get sloppy because the, the time we get sloppy, we, we'll come unstuck. And we're going to 2017, seven consecutive wins, seven from seven. We're set in the Pro 12, top of the knockout, top of the pools in Europe and in the Anglo-Welsh. So an exciting time ahead, but still a lot of rugby to be played. Yeah, it's, 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 it's exciting, but nothing's done yet. Um, like you say, I think we... we if we get the corner game done, it's been a real good Christmas for us in our own. I'm going into the new year, it's be, it'll be really positive for us to get, get the points in the bag. Hopefully we get, get a real positive performance against Lyon, get what we want in, in round Europe and hopefully get a home quarter final. Um, and then that'll, that'll set us up hopefully for the real back end of the year.